Hi guys, it's Ollie with Chaos Monkey, and I just wanted to show you a fairly quick yarn haul from Hobium. Uh, this is my second um, purchase from Hobium, and um, so far pretty good. And I'll always give you guys my honest opinion uh, on once I work with the yarn, because it's really not fair to give an evaluation until you work with it, unless you know it's something really stands out when you get it. Um, it's right now Hobium is kind of everywhere. There, um, almost every podcast that does anything to do with yarn is getting um, Hobium packages and coupons. So I watched another podcast that had the uh, had been sponsored or uh, had stuff shipped to them from Hobium, and they actually had a twenty percent off coupon. So at that point, I decided, hey, heck yeah! So. I went and spent um, 40 something, 50 something dollars. I have my receipt over here, I'll give you more detail. But then I used the 20% off and I saved like $9 and change on shipping. So I only had to pay six something in shipping, which is pretty much average to American shipping if you try to get anything from Lion Brand or Red Heart or anything online. So that really worked out. So anyway, let's get into the yarn because I hate when people talk too much on yarn hauls. So. This is the bag they send you, if you guys aren't familiar, but you always get this nice green bag, and I love these bags. I like to reuse them for stuff, and they're cute, and if you see at the bottom, they're on Pinterest, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So I'm going to get this out of the way so it doesn't throw off the yarn colors. So this is a bright green, and my lighting is a little off. Also, you always get a cute little yarn tag which is made with love which see my camera doesn't know where to focus come on camera okay well anyway you guys get the idea then we also get um, pom pom maker and you need two to make a pom pom because when you wrap the yarn around you want to cut through here with the scissors and tie your string on and all of that so then they give you a couple stickers, and then they give you a 15% off coupon. So I use the 20% off off of a podcast instead of my 15% off. So if you guys look around to some of the other podcasts doing a Hobium haul, if they were sponsored by Hobium, they will have a most likely have a 20% off. And if you haven't tried them, then I would go get that 20% off coupon to help you with shipping because it is a Turkish company, and the shipping is really expensive but it's also super fast it's like two to three days from turkey and um, the yarn is so cheap that if you divide the yarn per ball by the shipping it's really you're still paying less than you would somewhere else so but again get that coupon so you pay less in shipping now my first one was amigurumi yarn now I do a lot of amigurumi and I was curious so I saw this on the website and I decided to pick up a whole bunch of different colors because these are only a dollar, let me see here, a dollar seventy eight each. And it's my fault for not realizing that this was so thin. I assumed it was a worsted weight, close to a number four, but it's closer to a fingering weight, you guys. So, uh, whew, I don't know what I'm going to make with this, uh, but I, the reason I wanted it, as I ramble on, is because it is 49% cotton and 51% acrylic and I can't find anything like that like this locally and I do a lot of amigurumi and some amigurumi people do um, do just cotton because it doesn't stretch and it's much more durable but I can't work with just cotton 100% cotton hurts my hands so I really like the idea of having 50% acrylic roughly and 50% cotton so I picked up a whole bunch of colors thinking it was a number four and just very small balls. But this is a fingering. So this is going to make very small animals. Um, you can do it like you can follow an amigurumi pattern and just change the yarn size and it will just change the size of the animal. You don't have to make any adjustments. So I could follow a standard teddy bear pattern. It would just come out smaller uh, with a smaller yarn. So I'll, I'll make something with it. Uh, I can't really do what I was planning to do, but I will do something and tell you guys how it worked up. But anyway, I'll show you the colors real quick. We got this pink, and keep in mind they don't do color names, so there's going to be a color number, and I can't even get to it because it's inside the ball. So 
there's a pink, and this is almost, almost a hot pink, not really, but a very bright pink. There's a blue. I really like this blue. My lighting is a little off, but this is showing up pretty close to true. Ooh, that orange threw it out though, huh? There we go. It's a little more orange than that. I have a brown, which is more of a chocolate brown. I have a lime green, and that's pretty close to accurate. And then this is almost a peach color. It's a not a white. It looks a little well, whiter on the camera, but this is more like a little bit of a peachy, almost a flesh tone color. So yeah, so I got these. So that's what, three? I got six balls to work with to try that out. My only downside is I just wished it had been a worsted or a number four or even a DK. It would have been um, uh, more in my, what I needed it for. It would have been more like I can make anything I want with this and test it out. Then now I gotta think on the, something smaller. Alrighty, and then the second thing was the just wool. And this is 100% wool and it's 100% recycled wool. And I just got a few balls and this one, let me see the price for you guys, is 161 a ball. Oh, and these guys are 50 gram balls, just to let you know. I can't see the yardage, but 50 gram balls. And then these are 50 gram, 126 yards. And so I got three different colors. I got the, this is a navy. Oh good, it's kind of showing up true. And this is a burgundy, so all these together, I was just going to make a hat and test it out. And it's really soft. Uh, it's tweedy. There's some tweedy flex in there, or noops. And it's, it's really good for recycled. It's the, let's see, it's probably closer to a fingering sport. If you want to see that, because remember, everybody's sizes are a little bit off. Um, you know, everybody kind of just, I don't know, ballparks their sizes. Sorry, I kind of had to lean over. So those, it's really soft. I'm really enjoying that. And the next one is a sock yarn. And I do make a lot of socks. I'm kind of out of sock making mojo right now, but winter is coming. And I do a lot of socks. Uh... In winter, I do a lot of sweaters and socks in the winter for some reason. So, uh, and you all know sock yarn can be really expensive. So I went with uh, the Kartopu sock yarn, 420 meters, 100 grams, and one of these should make two socks. 459 yards, yeah, 459 on the yards. And these were 645 a ball. And usually when you go with uh, any other type of sock yarn, like if I go with uh, Peyton's or Croy, it's usually over $6.50 a ball for one sock, and you have to buy two balls. So I was like, okay, we'll give this a shot, and if it works out, I'll buy more. But this is a very thin sock yarn. So, yeah, I mean, you just have to go down a needle size to make it work but it's a very thin sock yarn. Some sock yarns are a little thicker than others. This is on the thin side, but it also makes pattern. So it does stripes and some patterning like that. So if it works out, so all I'm gonna do is, I do two at a time, so what I would do is throw this on a scale, wind it off into two balls, start each ball at the same spot so my socks match. Same thing I would do if I had two balls, so it doesn't affect me at all. So I got this really bright orange and blue, and then I have a really pretty purple brown. It's like a mauve, gray, and brown. So this one's going to be for me, and this one's probably going to be for someone else that I make socks for. And I'll try that out and let you guys know the performance, because that's a really good price on sock yarn. I make a lot of socks. We don't baby our socks. I wash them roughly, because my boyfriend, his feet are destructing. Destructo, he was on his feet all day. I just wash them normally. My socks don't last. That's fine. He gets holes in them, whatever. I have so many socks made for him, I throw them out. I'm not one of those people that keep my sock for 30 years in a, in a pristine sock drawer. <laughs> I wash mine pretty roughly too. Mine lasts a lot longer than his. But anyway, my bottom line is I always need sock yarn. I'm not like, I have too much sock yarn. <laughs> 
So this would really be cool if it works out. Okay, so the next one, let me get those out of the way, that I wanted to try that I hadn't tried was this guy. This is Angora Natural Prints by Corto Cartopo. And again, there's no colors, it's just lots. Um, 580 yards, you guys, and this is a fingering, a thin fingering. And this has, um, oh, I wanted to tell you what was in the sock yarn. It is 75% wool, 25% polyamide, which is the nylon, oh, I'm going to sneeze, don't sneeze, <laughs> excuse me, you guys, which is a nylon for, so it is perfect for socks, because you need that nylon for strength. Okay, so these are 10% wool, 10% mohair, 80% acrylic. And this is so soft. So they call it Angora, but it's actually mohair. I think it's just a name that they use for a certain line. And we know Angora and mohair are two separate things. <laughs> Angoras come from bunnies. I think mohair can come from bunnies or goats. I think it's two sources for mohair. I could be totally wrong. But anyway... There is actual mohair in here, and it is so soft, you guys. So this would be perfect for shawls or wraps uh, if you're into making those, and I am. So I'm going to put together a couple of shawls because, oh, it's so soft. So this is going to be really fun to work with. So I got it in. It has beiges, browns, and pinks. And this one is in lighter colors, which are showing pretty true, which is uh, browns, like, oh, I should say a tan cream, blue, and a gray. And I'm not sure how they're going to work up, so when I make something I'll show you guys so you can see, because it does say prints, so um, I'm assuming it's going to have a striping pattern of some kind, which would be cool. And they really don't, sometimes they don't show you on the pictures how they're going to work up. Sometimes they do, so I can't remember if they actually showed this one, but I don't think they did. And for this one... Sorry, I had to lean. I need to see how much I paid. It looks like it's only three fifty five a ball. So three fifty five for a mohair acrylic wool blend. Keep in mind it is majority acrylic, eighty percent, but still ten percent wool, ten percent mohair. And it's super soft, so you could probably wear it near your face at five hundred and eighty yards. So good price if it works. And then here is the last one that I wanted to try that I haven't tried from them. And this is a baby yarn. And I do make some baby stuff. We all make baby stuff for, you know, you want to have stuff in uh, stock for, in stock, you know, handy for baby showers or baby gifts or just to, to sell or whatever. And this is a 100% acrylic, I believe. Did I find it? Yeah. 100% acrylic. And you can, of course, perfect for babies because you can wash it. But what I've noticed is a lot of baby yarn in the U.S. is not soft. So you pick it up, it's kind of soft in the ball. You work it up, it's not soft enough for a baby. And this stuff is soft. Soft, soft. And you can see it has these really cute flecks. So I kind of got a baby neutral color. So you could go for a boy or a girl. And I'll make something out of this, like a little baby jacket or booties and baby jacket and a hat. Whatever I can crank out of here. This is 100 grams, 300 meters. Oh, excuse my computer is talking to me. And it is 328 yards. So that is a lot of yardage for one ball. So I only got one to try it out. But again, if, you know, don't get me wrong. I will still buy from Hobby Lobby. I will still buy from Lion Brand, Red Heart, all of those places. But sometimes when you want to make a big project or you're kind of tight on cash, it's nice to know you can go someplace that has really good quality stuff like for sock yarn and for baby stuff or even for a sweater because we know sweater quantities can cost a lot even even in the cheaper yarns so if it works out that Hobium has a really good good yarns for that then you know fantastic so and I have made a couple of things out of their yarn so far my last haul I had a bulky wool and I made a cowl with with cat ears on it and the really bulky wool, the only problem I had with that was it had an acrylic smell. It smelled very strongly when I was working with it. So that was a downside. 
So I finished the project and washed it, and the smell faded a lot. So, you know, I'd, I think I'd buy it again, but I'm just trying to be honest. <laughs> but everything else hasn't had an odor at all. And I did put it on, I did comment when they asked me for my opinion. I did say it, you know, it smelled very strongly of acrylic uh, when I was working with it. You know, stuff they can improve. But anyway, the ones I have bought before is the Jersey. And these are comparable to the Karen Cakes. Come on, focus you. And again, I apologize for my lighting being a little off. It's really overcast, and I don't think it's going to change for like a couple of weeks. Um, and my camera placement is kind of... And so these are 80% acrylic and 20% wool, the ones that I can see in English. Come on, focus. Focus you. The camera's being ornery. So, um, this one is in purples and browns. Okay, so this one is in purples and browns and creams. Looks like. And again, no, no color names. But they do have a pretty good variety of these. And these were... Excuse my lean. Try to find the price for you guys. It's on my computer. These are five seventy one, a ball, and it is yardage wise, two hundred two hundred grams, three hundred sixty meters. I'm not seeing yards on this ball band. Oh, I lied. Three ninety four yards. So three hundred ninety four yards. So I got one in purples, and I got one in the blues and the browns, because it's really pretty. This is really soft, it's really fun to work with, and it is like the Karen Cakes, but really soft. Um, not super soft because of the wool, but soft. And so I just wanted to show you guys, out of the last haul, excuse my lean, I had bought a really bright one like this. And there's the color number if you're interested. But I made a shawl, so I just wanted to show you guys how it worked up instead of seeing stuff in the ball all the time. So here, I know I don't have a lot of room, I'll put in a picture so you can see the whole thing, but this way you get to see it close up, how it worked up with the colors. And you can see how pretty it is, and it made a really good size shawl. I had to kind of, this pattern is very versatile, um, but I had to cut off the last few repeats because I didn't have enough yarn. So I just put the border here, and it still made a really big shawl. So you can do a really nice size shawl out of one ball. But again, I'll show you a picture so you can actually see how big it is. I'd say it's like a medium size shawl. Not huge, not a super small around the neck. It's kind of an in-betweener. Nice to wear around the neck, bulky around the neck, but not huge. And I washed it and blocked it, and it fuzzed up a little bit after washing, which is understandable because of the wool. It had a really nice woolly smell when I was washing it, and um, didn't block out the best because it is mostly acrylic. So I blocked it, let it dry, and then I steam blocked it, and it's perfect. So if you guys are curious how they work up, the only thing I've noticed is that some of the balls have speckles from the darker colors under the lighter colors, and it's not really, from what it looks like, it's not intentional. And I have another ball that I haven't used yet in Stash that has that. And so I'll let you know if it really, like you can see here, you see how you have some spots here? Into the lighter color. So it could look, I mean, it could be, it, when you work it up, it could look completely intentional and not be an issue. But that's the only problem I've had with this yarn is that there's some discoloration of the darker into the lighter during processing. And you can tell it's really not intentional um, because this ball had none of that problem at all. All the colors were very clean. The only time you had a weird ch thing was just when it was changing. See, from blue to green, it, I mean, from blue to yellow, it makes green. So there's a little transition, but that's different than speckling, which is what looks like yeah. So, and this other ball looks pretty clean. Sometimes you, you know, 
you really can't tell until you work with it. But again, if it's minor, it probably won't show, or if it's if it's a certain kind of speckling, it may look intentional and look perfectly fine. But I won't know until I work up those balls, and I'll let you guys know, and I'll show you. So that's it. That's for my Hobium haul. Oh, I also wanted to show you, I spent, my total was $39 for 16 balls of yarn. And um, my shipping was 16 because it is from Turkey. It is two-day shipping from DHL. But I used the 20% coupon, and it saved me, oh, if I can see, oh, it's not on this receipt. This is actually my PayPal receipt. It just gives me my total. But from what I remember off of the Hobium receipt, it saved me $9 and change, that 20%. And what happened was it took, um, no. Okay, it saved the 20%. Yeah, it was $9 and change. It took it, basically, I looked at it like it just took it off the shipping. So I only paid six dollars and something in shipping which I, I told you guys that in the beginning so my total after everything after tax and shipping was fifty five fifty eight so I think this is really good for fifty bucks fifty five bucks but because I spent over fifty they also send you a free gift and I just wanted to show you that I got a bag so on top of all the little freebies they give you and the plastic bag that they send with you I got a bag, like a little, what you call this, I want to see canvas -y. It's not super thick, but it's not super thin. And it says on one side, all you knit is love, from hashtag lovehobium. And on the back, you get like a little jackalope that says, oh my dear, with a little sweater. And it's a pretty good size bag. I hope you guys can see that. And it looks like it's pretty good quality. They reinforce the handles. Um, you can see it's not super thick, but hey, free bag. I was really surprised. I didn't expect that. And, um, you know, you don't want to overstuff it. It won't hold up to being holding anything heavy, but it's definitely handy for just a project bag, for something, some yarn, or whatever you want to do. So I just wanted to show you guys the freebie. So not only are they good on the prices, shipping is high, but it's from Turkey. But it, they'll give you coupons all over the place which, help, which helps with the shipping and they give you a lot of freebies so I just think that's pretty cool so okay I'm done I made this long enough um, I'll put pictures